Hello, this is me, Steamman5, and I'm showing you right here a nice 45 degree corner on wood that I made myself with a pallet, my own idea. And same thing here with the trim around the window. 45 degrees on both sides and painting and putting the silicone on the corners and like and a butt joint, like right here. But the thing is, no one else on the internet has this like type of design, which is my own. And this is very unique. Like right here, I have a put a 45 degrees and center the corners for, for a doorway to make it look nice. Put foam in the back to seam up all the gaps in there so like there'll be no spiders and nothing else going in there, like mold. But it's very unique because you can have it going like this and have a 45 degree here, kind of 45 degree in the trim and now buying 45 degrees to put on top of the trim for the baseboards. And thing is, this is a single wall house for Volcano Hawaii, but here I had it all painted for my room. You can see some things on YouTube, on TikTok, or this is going to be on YouTube, I guess. And this is leaded paint behind this white paint. It's all beige color paint. And right here, it's all 45 degree. This is the casing for the, the electrical. And this is a nice thick piece of trim to make it a 45 degree here. And to have it like that on purpose so the trim would fit the crown molding or something you call it. And this is another unique design right here, having this 45 degree here, 45 degree here, and have it all Nice and rounded so you won't have a bumping in, into it like an accident at night or something. Same thing here. I have, I have degrees on the corner, having trim, but on a nice sliding window, which is thin paned glass. And it's very unique. No one else on the internet thought of this. Here, I thought of even having a thicker trim right here to hide the back, like to hide the back so that it'll look way cleaner, but also putting silicone in each groove to prevent cracks. And the paint when it, there's an earthquake on the Big Island of Hawaii. But it's very unique because no one else thought of it, but I'm not, I'm not trying to say that no one else thought of it and they're bad. I'm just saying you can have this type of unique idea for me and like you can really have some good inspiration. This is a very thick trim on top of here for the closet and unique 45 degree here for the closet, which is very nice. And it just makes it way cleaner and it feels like it will increase the value of a house maybe. I don't know for sure, but this is just very beautiful ways of doing it. Like in here, this is creative. I put in this piece of wood to conceal or hide a big gap that the previous or whoever built the house first that didn't fully have the trim and the doorway two by fours all the way to the wall. I had to do this so this would be way cleaner and there'll be less gaps and like not as much of an annoyance to have it. And this is very unique. Right here, I've done the same thing, but this is painted silicone on the corner, but it's making it very clean and to make it more unique. And the thing is, that's the old paint, oh, which is leaded. And I'm really trying to renovate this house as much as possible. And this is very unique because like on Big Island of Hawaii, there are plantation homes that are single wall, tongue and groove. Some might be redwood. But if you ever have a single wall house and you have a lot of earthquakes, have an idea of putting silicone in each groove. It might be a little pricey, but it'll make it way cleaner 
and better than before. Like, you won't have any cracks in the walls, like, when there's an earthquake. And this is all single wall. So, like, if you have a single wall, it's nice, but it's better than drywall because drywall up in volcano is not a good idea. Because drywall up in volcano gets moldy and over time in Hawaii, drywall sags and like becomes bad. But if it's all wood, you have it way cleaner if you think about it. Because like you can sand it if you want, put like some kind of design, maybe a false tongue and groove look, but it'll be cleaner than drywall. Sure, it's expensive, but at least you have a, a looking better. And you can like say like, look at this beautiful wall, but at least you won't have any drywall falling apart. Like this is the old paneling. The old paneling, there's wood paneling, like maybe from the 1970s or 80s. And the thing is, I had to do so much cleaning because underneath all of that wood paneling in this whole house, sorry for the mess, I'm going to clean it up. I'm just having a lot of renovation, moving stuff around. And I'm just saying, if you live up in Volcano and you have a bunch of wood paneling, just note this, that there's a lot of mold underneath. Like, you have black mold, green mold, white mold, and even orange mold, which is surprising to me. Like, orange mold, orange mold, I mean, is on top of bare wood up in Volcano. Like, if it's behind the paneling, it's like there. But that depends if it's on the exterior walls, which holds up the house. But white mold, green mold, and black mold is on top of the walls and you have to spray mold armor like to kill all the mold like which is chlorine in there and also you have to wear a mask so like you don't inhale as much but it's just so overwhelming you don't want to it's like for one day I sprayed like the whole room and when I'm showing like was all paint of lead paint lead paint I mean like even up in the ceiling, I had to spray all black mold off. Even like you see some mold stains, which is very weird. But you just have to clean off with the, maybe the rough side of the sponge. But this is just like very overwhelming when you have a lot of chlorine. Like it can get in your nose. Like even when I had a mask on it, has the chlorine coming into your through the mask and it gets into your nose and like for a couple of hours you like smell chlorine even if you're outside driving a car or something this is so overwhelming for your body that you just smell chlorine for a couple of hours and you don't smell anything else but then when it goes away you're like oh i don't smell any chlorine anymore and this is just something you have to be aware of and it's just something you really want to think about your own body and what's going on. So this is like a, I'm learning from my own mistakes. And this is just very unique because you need to think about your own health and, and also think creatively. I'm just saying creatively because like if anyone wants to spruce up their room, take an example from me. Because I thought I didn't know what to do, but then I thought, why not do this? And it looks so much better. Like having 45 degree angles on both sides, it makes it cleaner for a window. Like if you buy trim from a Home Depot or Lowe's or something, I don't know. I have never been in Lowe's, but, but the thing is, if you see the trim that is only 45 degree here and it's just flat here, it just doesn't look as good. But if you have 45 degree on both sides and maybe you have like a router going in the middle and making it more wavy or something, you can have it way more unique and making it better if you have the time to do it. But if you have your own wood, real wood, not MDF, which is particle board, it falls apart very easily when it 
comes into contact up in volcano. Like, this is just a lot of things you have to think about what's going on. Like, here, like, even if you have mold resistant like, paint already in, like, mold resistance in the paint, you add want to add more mold resistance so, like, there'll be no mold. Like, so, like, today I'm going to be painting this ceiling. Even though it looks clean, there was a bunch of mold and I had to spray it. And I'm going to be painting it with semi-gloss, like, because right next to this room is a bathroom. And you, if you have anything going into the room next to the bathroom, like any steam or something, even if it's closed, like, there's still steam can be coming out. You want to at least like have like maybe something semi-glossed or something mold resistant so there will be no mold in the future. You're making your own house safer for yourself if you have mold resistant paint for the future, like up in volcano, like where it's a lot of water, like every day, like it's been raining like out there like for the past like month and a half or two months. And almost uh, practically every day it's a mist, but in Hilo, it's harder, but not as often, but up here it's more almost every day and you can get so much mold in here. So take my advice and think creatively on what you want to have in your room, like spruce it up, making it cleaner, mold resistant and stuff like that. Just, and if you have white walls, maybe have something else, like maybe have this old house, like have like this type of trim, very thick trim, like one inch or something. Have this type of like unique look. And like on both sides, it's the same, but it's unique, but they don't have this type of molding anymore. And this is where it was, where it was the panel, they removed it to put panel. But if you think about it, like you can have like trim here, trim here, have like very unique, have a niche in the wall, shelving, anything you think will make your room better and have more shelving space. Think creatively. That's my advice. Think creatively. If you ever think of how can I make this room better? So I'm signing off. See you next time. Whenever I see you guys. Sorry for not uploading. I've been doing a lot of things and I'm trying to just think of what to do in this house. See you next time.